we got to know a little bit about each other. What makes us tick? You know, our likes, our dislikes. Who wants to complete the process? Who wants to meet these men on stage? All right. Will you please stand for the audience? They need to see this. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. The youngest member of the Rock Intelligentsia, or should that be Unintelligentsia? A man so young, he is yet to be born. And yes, a progeny, a talent so prolific that he injured his own mother in the womb by playing the drums. It's Sammy Man Boy! Let's get him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, our second senior weapon of the evening. The glue between the cracks. The dust down the back of the sofa. And other things that bind. You've read a lot in the press about dad bod. About this latest trend for men called dad bod. Let me introduce to you tonight, Grandad Bot! It's Rue the Rebellion! That's the best riff I've heard here. And if you like that one... <laughs> Standing next to him, a man to my right, but only metaphorically, ladies and gentlemen. A man for the ages, a man for the sages, and a man for the back pages. actually written by a band from Venice Beach, California called Excel and the Metallica Stole It. Are you aware of that? And Arsene Riquet with his little Danish fingers and stole it. Anyhow, I would like to introduce to you the man who traveled through time from a Charles Dickens novel called The Bottomless He's a romancer, he's 
Mr. D. Panzer. His sister used to be a very famous skinhead, actually. Whoa! That's Don't bring reality into this. <laughs> and today, he is also a skinhead, but not voluntarily. <laughs> For the savior of Death Punk, the Duke of Nothing, Mr. Tony Sylvester! to me. Right. What can you say? He stands between two realms, that of the physical and that of the inferior. By certain angles, he isn't even there, ladies and gentlemen. He's half ideal. He's half riff. He's half flesh and he's half bone. He is double the man you could ever be. He is your boy!